What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kat. This is my channel, and this is probably literally the biggest thrift haul I think I have ever done, um, or at least the most money I've ever spent in one thrift store at one given time. Um, so, as the title says in this video, this is my Black Friday thrifting haul. I went to literally one store. Um, I did go to a second store, but they actually didn't have anything that I wanted, which is crazy. Um, I was at the store for about an hour. I went to Red Racks, uh, which supports disabled veterans. So um, this money was well spent, and I'm reaching over here because it's all piled up over here. I have it in, um, I kind of like organized it a little bit, and there are other pieces that I purchased that I will not be showing because they are Christmas presents. So like I got um, some things for Brett and then I got a sweatshirt for uh, one of Brett's sisters. I saw it and I texted it to her to see if she wanted it and she did. So um, I don't have it in this haul, but she knows what it looks like. It's a Mizzou sweatshirt. So um, I did have one comment from somebody that I thought watched pretty frequently, but I can't remember um, in my last thrift video that they didn't like that I was thrifting men's clothing. Uh, so one of the trends that's been going on for a while now that I'm really into is the athleisure trend. And um, a lot of that is men's clothing. I wear a lot of men's clothing because it's more comfortable um, and I just like men's clothing. I don't, I don't think a t-shirt needs to be men's or women's. I think you can just wear it because it's a t-shirt. But, um, so this is literally, I think, 90% all from the men's section. So if you don't like the athleisure trend, you don't like men's clothing, you don't like sweatshirts and t-shirts, I would click away because that's the majority of what you're about to see. So, without further ado, let's get into this haul. Um, I'm going to show you the one home goods thingy thing that I purchased. Let's see if I can unwrap these guys. They are, um decorative, I don't even know how to explain them. They're these little thingies. There's two of them right here and they go against the wall like this, like so. Um, I have some of these and I use them for various things, not just like on the wall. I use them as door stops. I use them as all kinds of stuff. So um, my thrift store today was half off of every single tag except pink, purple, and white. Um, and then since I shop there so regularly, you accumulate points. They have a point system. So um, when you get to a certain number of points, you get percentages off you can use. So I did get some tags that were white, I believe, uh, but I had enough points that I could use a 30% off coupon. So everything I bought was on sale, which is great. Um, so, but these were, I think it's a green tag, but they were on sale. So these were $1.50 for both of them. Um, and then I bought a bunch of decorative books, which I'm actually using to prop the camera up. So I will take a shot of them. They're mostly uh, Reader's Digest books, an encyclopedia, and this book called The Greatest Book Ever Written. I don't know, it's blue and it's pretty, so I bought it. Um, I'm not sure how much the books were. I think they might have been a dollar and then half off of that. I'm not sure. The books are never expensive, so I just buy them if I see them. Um, but then I have one random piece that doesn't really go with anything else. Uh, Brett and his family and I are really big into Disney and I saw this vintage Disney store piece and it's like a, like a, I don't even know, it was like a baseball jersey kind of style shirt and it has, I'm trying to see, there you go. It has Goofy on it. It's so cool. Um, it has a couple of spots on it, but I think I can get them out. Um, and as you can see, it was only $3. So, um, and then it has this really cool patch down here on the side. So I'm assuming it is like a baseball kind of thing, National League, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but it's really cool. I don't think Brett would ever wear it, but I thought it would be cool um, to wear when we go to Disney World. And like, I mean, there's spots on it. There's the spot right there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it out. I don't know if I'll crop it. I don't know what I'll do. Cause then if I crop it, this part goes away and I like that part. So we shall see. But either way, I thought it was too cool to leave behind. Um, okay, so on to the t-shirts. We know I have an Adidas t-shirt addiction. So bear with me. It gets a little ridiculous. But before we get to Adidas, um, one of Brett's favorite brands is Greg Norman. I also love Greg Norman and I found 
this double XL, just a black Greg Norman t-shirt. It's huge. Uh, it was $2 on sale and it is so soft and so thick and nice and I'm gonna use it as a sleep shirt. I love oversized t-shirts for sleep shirts, which is also why I bought this one. It's a Tommy Hilfiger. It was uh, $2.50. It's orange and it's got a little logo right there. Really cute. This one's a double XL too. Nope, just an XL. It looks just as big as the other one though. But I love those. And then I got two Adidas shirts. It was interesting because I the first place that I go to when I go to the thrift store, I beeline for the men's t-shirt section. And I'm like going through and going through and going through and going through and I'm like, everything that's left is a white tag. What the heck? Like there's nothing here that I want. It's all white tags, white tags, white tags. I'm like, ugh. This is what I get for going at noon on Black Friday, but I didn't, I just didn't want to screw with it. Um, and then I found this little gem tucked away. Um, I believe it's in, yep, my size. This is a large, so I can wear this just like regularly. And I live in these kinds of t-shirts. And I mean, Dick sells these, like Dick's Sporting Goods, they sell these for $15, $20 a pop, and I got it for four bucks. And it looks brand new. The cat is coming to sniff the pile I'm making on the floor. Um, and then this is a white tag, so I got it 30% off, so it was $5.99, so 30% off of that is $6 minus $1.80, so, you know, the f uh, what is that, $4.20? Insert pot joke here if I did my math correctly, otherwise I just look like an idiot. So it's just uh, black, red, and white, and it also is a size large. I will literally wear these anywhere all the time all the time so um i got another tommy hilfiger piece moving into the hoodies and sweatshirts and things um i'm not sure if i'm gonna wear this or if i'm gonna give it to brad or if we'll both wear it but it's really nice it's this um tommy sweater it just looks like this size large it was four dollars and fifty cents it's this beautiful oatmeal color and it has the little Tommy logo over here on the sleeve. Is it this sleeve? Which sleeve is it? This sleeve. Uh, the sleeves are a little bit tattered, but I actually kind of like that. I like the worn in look. So I'll take like the little stringies off of it um, before I put it in the washer. Or I might do that after, I'm not sure. But either way, I will cut the little stringies off so it doesn't look so tattered and just looks more distressed than anything. But there you go. Um, I also picked up, I have one of these in a size that like fits me how it should. Uh, it's a Columbia lightweight fleece. As you can see, they mark Columbia up for some reason like crazy, like $25, are you kidding me? So it was half off, um, which is still better than the sale they were running on Black Friday on the Columbia website, if I remember correctly. Um, so this is navy with lighter blue and red. It's so soft. I really debated on this one. It is an XL tall, so it's super, super long. I could probably wear this as a dress, in all honesty, um, and I'm probably gonna sleep in it tonight. I love these things. They had a bunch of Columbia, but I was super picky about which ones I picked up. I did pick up another one, um, which I will find right now and show you. Here we go. Um, this one is an extra large men's, and they marked this one up too. It's $15, so I paid $7.50 for it. Uh, and it is this gray, like, quarter zip. And I just really liked it for some reason. I don't know, the material on Columbia stuff is always so thick and sturdy. Um, it has a cool little Columbia patch on the arm, if it will let me show it to you. Right there. Um, and if I get it in the right lighting, it almost looked like there might be a couple of spots on it. And I know somebody suggested to me either in the comments or in my DMs on Instagram how to get oil stains out. I can't remember how they told me to do that. But um, I might try and touch it up, but it's such a dark gray color. I can see them right here. There's just two very, very small spots that you really have to be looking for. 
um, but I might try and tinker with those before I put this guy in the wash, but either way, I love those. I wear them all the time, so totally worth it. This next piece was one that I was not expecting. Um, it is a Timberland jacket, and I've only ever found Timberland one other time, and it was also at a Red Racks, but in a completely different part of Kansas City. Um, and I've never found, I don't usually find like, I want to say high end, but Timberland's not like high end, but it's more expensive than like, I don't know, it's just not something I usually find at this specific thrift store. Uh, so I was kind of surprised. It was marked $20, so I paid 10 bucks for it. It's an extra large, and it's this super thick blue fleece. I almost said fleece, like, what is English anymore? Um, it's got the Timberland green zipper. It's got the Timberland logo there on the back of the neck. It's got pockets in the front really cute and of course it has the Timberland logo over here uh, extra large so excited about this you guys I love these things Ooh, what is in the pocket what is that oh no it's not the it was my fingernail breaking great spectacular so okay Next is um, something that you guys are gonna be like, does she really freaking need another one of those? Yes, I do, I always do. It's an Adidas hoodie. This one was stashed away in the middle of the women's sweatshirts on the wrong end of the store. This is clearly a men's sweatshirt and it was in the women's size small sweatshirts and this is a big sweatshirt. It's an XL but it's super long and it was $3. Like, you gotta be kidding me, it's super long. It's faded black. Hey, focus. It's faded black. Obviously, probably from lots and lots of love, which is how I like them. I like them to be well-loved and broken in, and I can tell I'm gonna wear the crap out of this thing. So, um, if I'm not in my work attire, I'm most likely in some sort of athleisure t-shirt and joggers or leggings uh, and a sweatshirt. So like literally, I hauled this a couple of hauls ago. Here I am wearing it. So, okay, two more. So this was the most expensive item that I picked up that was not half off. Um, and it's a super cute Calvin Klein sweatshirt. I am probably gonna cut the band off of it so that it's, a little bit more cropped. It's a size medium, but it's such a nice material. Oh my God, the fleece they make these things out of is so nice. Um, and I've really been wanting one that specifically looked like this. I was actually looking for one on Black Friday, like actually on the Calvin Klein website. So I'm really excited about this. Uh, I think this was actually the first thing I picked up today. So uh, thrilled to have this guy. Uh, it was $9, but uh, 30% off of that, so somewhere in the $6-ish range, $6, $7, and I'm totally cool with that. And then the last one, so my Red Racks uh, does promotions for um, meals for veterans during the holidays, so they're uh, holiday like sweaters and sweatshirts and all that kind of stuff. When you buy them, um, they're marked up a little bit and um, the money goes to, I mean all the money goes towards the veterans, but these ones, the Christmas ones specifically, go towards uh, meals for veterans. So it's like a separate little um, piece of donation. So the regular donations go to the veterans and stuff, and then the extra ones go to specifically food for veterans, which is really cool. So I saw this, and again, Disney Store had to pick it up. It didn't have a tag. Um, but if you can see, it's little Eeyore. And it says, wonder is all around. It's pretty oversized. It was in the women's too. Um, but it's big. I have no idea what size it is because they cut the size tag out of it. Um, there's the tag, whatever it was. Uh, but I think it's really, really cute. Um, and the manager gave it to me for $6.99 which I was okay with. I just think it's really, really cute. So, super excited to have this. I will put it in a different pile because I don't have to cut the tag off of it. Yay! So, 
there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Let me know if you want more in the comments below. Let me know if I need to stop buying Adidas t-shirts because I freaking do, but I have no willpower. So, um, by the way, did I mention welcome to my kitchen? We're in my kitchen. This is my living room or my dining room. This is my kitchen. There you go. So welcome. I can't seem to decide where to film in my house. So, uh, there it is. There you have it. There it is. Um, let me know if you want more thrift hauls. Uh, I did kind of vlog this trip a tiny bit. I suck at vlogging right now. Uh, tried to vlog my Black Friday experience, shopping experience and such. So mostly it was just like me talking to the camera and not showing you anything because I suck. But uh, be sure to look for that video. Hopefully I will put it out. I'm assuming I'll put it out, but I don't know when that will be. Cause I still haven't put out an engagement video and it's been four months. Four months? Five months? Five months? <laughs> I promise all of these videos that I've said are coming are going to be arriving at some point. So, huh. without further ado, that is everything I have for you guys. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being a member of my Warrior Crew. Be sure to hit those bell notifications so you know when my next video is coming live because I don't seem to post on my schedule anymore. I mean, if I post, it does come on a Monday or a Friday, but I can't seem to post regularly on Mondays or Fridays because I'm insane and busy and I'm really sorry. I've tried, but turn on the post notifications so you know when I finally, you know, get my act together and put a video up. So, I love you guys. Thank you for your patience with me while I've been going through so much crazy stuff in my life right now. I love you so much and I'll catch you in the next one. Love you, Warrior Crew. Bye.